All right, guys, next up, we got the Apollo Lil Joe 2, the 145th scale one. We'll be going on an E20-4, and we are ready to launch. E20-4 should be a good flight. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Way up on the E20-4. Four seconds, parachute, everything's still attached. Look at that, everything's coming down. Nice flight. Nice flight on the E20. Coasting down real nice. Coasting, coasting, coasting. I'm gonna head out here to go get it. Oh, it's coming down way over there. I'm gonna head over. Hopefully you guys, I think you can still see that, yeah. Coming down nice and slow. These things have a big parachute, big plastic, nice one. It's, it's like this century, the old school century parachute. Coming down nice and slow. Coming down nice and slow. The Apollo Little Joe 2, that was a nice one. Took off, took off, E20-4. And I forgot to put the altimeter in there. I did so much altimeter at the last one, I forgot to put one in this, um, in this video. I ran all altimeters in all of those flights because I really wanted to see. Here he come, touching down. Here he come. You coming back to me? They're gonna go in these tall grasses. Check him out. Close up. Nice gentle landing. Nice gentle landing. Nice gentle landing of the Apollo Little Joe 2. Yeah, that was a nice flight on the E20. Nice flight, nice return, nice touchdown, everything. Perfect, perfection. Piece of wadding. You know it's a good launch when the wadding stays on the when the wadding stays attached. Oh, I see some damage. Oh, the capsule's gone. Oh, we got oh capsule's missing. Uh-oh. Capsule's missing. This little plastic piece. And I was wondering, was that too weak? The capsule is gone, folks. The capsule is gone. Uh-oh. So will I be able to find it out here? That's the next question. I would like to have that back. The capsule is gone from the 145th scale. Uh-oh, let's take a look. So I went over this way. I'm going to head out this way. It's white. I might be able to find it. Let's see. Let's give it a... All right, it came down here. Let me head over here. Uh-oh, the capsule's missing. The capsule's missing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a quick look for that. I think I see it. There it is. I see it. And it may be crushed. Uh -oh, let's see what we got. There it is. Capsule on the ground. Well, here's the capsule. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I see a little damage. Yeah, that piece broke off. That was kind of weak. Yeah, there's a little damage here. Wow, a little damage to the Joe. This is easily repairable. That's a that's a that's like a 13 millimeter tube. Easy fix. The cone's still good. Damage. Nice flight, though, on the E20. Yeah, that just... When their ejection charges fire, those things on air, air tech stuff, it blasts them all like a cannon. So that was the problem with that. But a little damage today. Let's get some more flights going. Model Rock 321. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We bring you all kind of flight videos. We got a couple more today that you will see. So let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. The Stealth Alpha on the E27. Going in five, four, Three, two, one. Who flew? It flew in deep into the blue. Waiting on parachute. Seven second delay. There it is, parachute. Parachute is out. Nice flight. White lightning motor, everything's still attached. Nice flight. It's coming down over us. I'm gonna start walking. Gotta keep my eye on that orange parachute against that blue sky. It's pretty easy to see. This is nice. Way up there. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Wow, that is up there pretty good. Can you hand my cell phone? That is a good one. That is still up there. That may have hit. If that last one was the 1598, that could have been. This will be. Ah, close to 2000, if not 2001, <laughs> 2001, yeah, unscrew that, 
Still up there. Man, that's definitely a 2000. I better start heading out. Definitely a 2000. I hope you guys can still see this. I'm gonna head out there. Man. Man, oh man, that is up there. Let me get walking out here. Super duper flight, man. That was spectacular. Yeah, I'm thinking we hit 2000. Because it, it disappeared in the blue. It disappeared. Then I saw a little trail and then saw that orange parachute pop out. Went for that orange. Man, I know I had a far walk a little while ago. This may be my new furthest walk. Coming down. Coming down, coming down. Hope you guys can see. Coming down. Stealth Alpha. Heading to the ground. Touching down. Right there. Touchdown. We did it. Man, that rocket. Nice. Nice. Nice day. Model Rocks 321. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I cannot wait to see this altimeter. I'm like hauling just to get over here to see. See what the reading is going to be. Man, that was good. That was great. E27 Motor Aerotech. Here we go. And here it is. Home on the ground. Home on the ground. Stealth Alpha. Motor still in there. Altimeter. I see the orange came off. I had a little protector on the altimeter. That came off. But. We have a reading. All right, altimeter reading. Let's see what we got. Wow, all right, 458 miles per hour, 1,968 feet. Wow, <laughs> 1,968 feet. So that is some serious altitude. So this rocket can perform. It's a performer. So that was a great flight. Wow, I got some parachute burns. Those Aerotech motors, I had a nice amount of wadding in there too, and it still shot through and burned that up. I have to get some new nylon, but great. I'm just glad this altimeter is still attached. Everything's, I made it kind of bulletproof since I've been, since it dropped off that one day, but great, great flight. Great flight. Can't complain. No complaints. Model Rocks 321, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more, and we will be back with more videos for you guys just like this. Stealth out. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rocks 321 here. This is an unboxing video. This is a gift from Estes. A while ago, we ran the giveaway together. We gave away the Boss Rocket. I got the Boss Rocket. I got a poster. I got some other stuff that's pretty cool. So this came the other day in the mail. I did not order this. This is thanks to Estes. Appreciate you guys over there. Let's take a look at this. First, we got this sticker. It's of a rocket called the Chiller. This is a pretty cool sticker. Nice. Feel like a vinyl sticker, really nice one. Probably will stick on your car and stay. Nice weatherproof one. So we got that in here. And we also have this Antar keychain. This is pretty nice, right? I actually like this a lot. This is pretty cool. So it's Antar keychain. And I think these are available on the site. So you can get this stuff that I'm showing you. It was packed by Amanda. Cool. All right, this is packing slip, I'm sure. Packing, yep, packing slip. So we have the Antar keychain to match the Antar rockets. This is part of the signature series. You guys, these signature series, like I've been collecting these. I have, it's only three of them out right now, which you can get. The Orange Bullet, the Boss, and this is the Gary H. Stein. I believe this is the Gary H. Stein design, which is the Antar. I'm glad I have this because I have one that I was leaving sealed. So this is one that I could possibly open up and build and fly because I do like this rocket a whole lot. So you can see it's all the specs here. Yep, this is a Gary H. Stein design. As you can see on the back of the rocket. Here's his original sketches. Pretty cool, pretty cool rocket. So this is, like I said, a gift from Estes. They sent this and this matches it. So this is cool, nice keychain. Let me take this out of here and take a closer, let's get a closer look at it because I didn't remove it yet. Okay, so it has a little number thing attached to it. So here we have it, a little, just a little closer. Oh, it's in the side of another bag, so let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Take a look at this Antar keychain. So there it is. It's one of the enamel ones. Yeah, it's one of the enamel type keychains. Real nice. That's a nice keychain. Like it has, you can feel it. And I like how they did the rocket. Kind of sticks off the edge of this circle. Got, I guess that's a planet back there, Saturn or something. But yeah, so you got the Antar keychain and the Antar rocket. 
flies 450 feet or 137 meters on a C65, he flies on B62 and B64. Antar guys, you could use my coupon code to get yourself an Antar signature series and other stuff. Just um, put everything in your shopping cart, add the code, and then make your move towards checkout. And I'll pay for all the stuff. And also the sticker is really cool. Nice. Got the SS logo there. Chiller. Nice design. Oop. I just dropped that. But as you can see, it's model rocks 3 to one here, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more. Should be some launch videos coming up soon. I'm going to get back out there and do that. See you guys on another video. It's model rockets 3 to one All right, here we go. We got the Python going on an E12-4. Going in three, two, one. Python on E12-4. Four. four second delay and we have parachute. Textbook launch coming right back down over us. It's Model Rock 321. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Can somebody stop that phone for me? Just hit the red. Um, coming down real nice. Had a nice spin, textbook launch. Nice. This is coming right back to the pad. This is perfect, pretty much a perfect launch right there. Coming down, I'm gonna start my walk out here to go get him. Y'all can come if you want. <laughs> so it's coming down pretty good. Coming down, coming down, coming down, guys. Coming down in the field. Wow, it's coming down in my old area. I used to launch on this other side of the field. There's a trench out here we're going to have to cross. But yeah, everything is good. That was a good launch. Had a small delay on it before taking off, but there we go. Touchdown. All right, here we go. Pulling up on the Python. Gave a nice launch on the E-12-4. Yeah, we have a couple special guests today. We got a couple hey. special guests. We got my homie, Ray, Ray Kwan, and we got... Jay. Jay, we're gonna call him Jay. So yeah, what do you think about that? How, what do you think about the first check and launch out? Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, Jay launched that for me too. So he he gonna let him gonna let him launch another one. That was pretty nice. Nice straight oh, launch. Nice Python. So yeah, there we go guys. Hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, Model Rocks 321 here at the Kennedy Space Center. So as we all know by now that the Artemis 1 or SLS rocket did not go. Had a first scrub, there was a problem with engine number three. Then there was a second scrub, uh, hydrogen leak. Um, I guess it's in the transfer unit where when they're transferring hydrogen into the rocket, you gotta refuel as it's about to go. There was a leak there and they decided to scrub that launch pretty quickly. And then they decided that there will not be a launch on Monday. That was the next scheduled day to launch. It would have been that Monday, but they decided not to do it. So, um, yeah, just some, some thing to think about if you ever decide to come to a launch, especially this is a new vehicle, so I understand it's going to have a lot of bugs and a lot of issues. And people don't know that the, um, some people probably do know that the shuttles, they had um, similar issues, so there could be problems all the time. Like we just, this one's highlighted because they're more invested in it. And um, like I said, I'm not upset about it, no big deal. I'm like, hey, they got to get it right. Because if they go, like I said in a, one of my Instagram stories, if they were to go, if something happens and everybody will say, hey, why did they go? Why did they launch? They should have they should have waited. That'll be the new um, the new chatter, you know, with all the pressure from the media and everything. I get it. People want to see this rocket go. It's one of the bigger ones in history. So um, since like Saturn V is one of the biggest ones, I think it's still even bigger than the Falcon Heavy. It's um, bigger than that. So this would have been a great one to see, but you know, still had a great time. And that's also want to talk about that. Um, there are plenty of things to do, like Kennedy Space Center alone is a blast no pun intended um even after the launch the first scrub didn't happen i came to kennedy checked it all out and um it's just a great place like you can see there's a lot to do here a lot to see and do and there's other museums there's other space museums here um sands you got i forget i think it's called the sands history and space museum all right guys here checking out this missile museum it's a historic history museum i'm um, just covering all the early pads this is before they moved to the kennedy space center area and all the early flights in order of everything that's being done or what's being done and all the way up to now. It's kind of cool, real nice. Like it goes around a wall like that showing you everything. I'm at the LC five and six, which was the Mercury Redstone or the Mercury missiles. 
they launched from right here to these points from the Mer Mercury Redstone rockets to the Mercury Redstone program. LC9 and 10, LC11, real cool. LR89 rocket dyne engine. So here's one. Rocket dyne engine on the Atlas 4B. Check it out. Yeah, let's seal, seal the inside of it so the kit don't go in there. <laughs> real cool though. Real cool. General Electric MK2 reentry vehicle. General Electric made this reentry reentry vehicle. Real cool place. Real cool place. Here's some Atlas stuff here. Mercury Atlas, Jimmy Atlas Agena, target vehicle. They have the Agena over at the Space Center. WD40, Atlas missile, WD40 with Delta 1953, it's a rocket chemical company, and it's staffed with three people. Look at that, WD40 has connections to NASA. Real cool. All right, next up, guys, we got the SLS Artemis. We're going to be flying that next. This is another one of their ready-to-fly kits. I had it for a while, just been waiting to try it out. So finally got around to it since we're flying a couple scale today. And then we're going to fly uh, two more after this. Not necessarily, not necessarily scale, but a couple more flights. Just a redemption and then another rocket. Just wanted to uh, give it a try out, too. But, yeah, we're going to fly this one right here today. I'm on a C-6-3. Is the NASA SLS Artemis. So we're going to see how this one does. I upgraded the parachute. I just took the parachute from another rocket and put in there a 24-inch, um, I mean, a 18-inch because it come with one. It seemed a little bit too small. And I just flew the Saturn V, which you saw just had broken fins. I think the parachute's too small. So we're going to give this a try right now. It's my Rock 321. Be sure to stick around, watch the video I have coming attached to this video. In the very end, I have a special set of model rocket trading cards available for you guys a way to support the channel be sure to check those cards out um, place an order um, so pre-order right now and they will come out to you they're very limited so grab your set while you can smile rocks 321Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out. Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, guys, we got the SLS NASA Artemis 1 going on a C-6-3. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Way up on a C-6-3, nice flight. And we got parachute out. Everything is out. That was a fast flight. Wow, that rocket, that was pretty nice. Pretty nice on the C-6-3. Very good. Coming down, I put the bigger parachute in there. Seeing like I have the flight fins, I see those on. Everything's still attached. The Saturn V plastic fins broke. This one's coming down with a little twist and turn landed and let's see i think we are good nice flight that was pretty good pretty good for a ready to fly kit very nice landing a bunch of ants off you can see those guys right in their home they're <laughs> they're out here working and next thing you know the artist artemis returns to home right on top of them check that out everything is good here engines in very nice flight that was a good one that was a good one it's my rock 321 my trading cards are available guys please support the cards add to your shopping cart and um let the rocket elves do the rest it's the exclusive set set number one you get a complete set one through 12 cards real cool put a lot of hard work into these and now they are ready to go smile rocks v21 thanks for your support